Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And Sportsbook. This is... <laughs> you can't be... Fine. 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 Hey, can, I can I just say one thing here before we start, yeah? Just 30 seconds before we start this Zoom, yeah? Dillian said, hold on a second, I've got to comb my hair. And he got out a little yeah. comb and started brushing mm-hmm. his bald head. Mm-hmm. What is that? I'm, 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 it's called imaginary, Coogan. I, I, I'm, I'm transitioning into. Why have in, you got that comb? You have no hair. Why have you? What? Bro, I just cut my hair yesterday, bro. I ain't cut my hair for like eight months, bro. I just yeah, cut what, it yesterday. No, but what I'm asking is, what is that doing? I'm trans. I'm transitioning into Afro, bro. I'm transitioning. Oh, okay, okay. I, 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 I um, I, um, what's the word called? Um, I don't know. What's it called? Um, wishing you weren't oh. big, bold, and sexy. Yeah, I'm trying to be. Yeah. Um, fro and, and I had a big fro like that. It was massive. I cut it yesterday. Nice. Kevin Cassius here with Dillian White. It's been I, several I, months. I ain't seen you as excited for any of you in a long time. Oh, Why are you so excited? You all for a while, for a while. So, um, we'll talk about your return to the ring, obviously mm-hmm. uh, this mm-hmm. Sunday. Um, mm-hmm. but yeah, how are you first of all? I'm good. I'm good. 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 Good to be back. Big and black as always. And back in black too. No, no, not black, but I yeah, see. You you keep them comments. You, you make them comments. It's good. Well, oh, you can say them comments too, bro. You're just as black as me, bro. No, I'm I'm Sri Lankan, isn't it? Let's just talk you, about you're, that. You're, 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 you're black Lankan. You're not Sri Lankan. You're black Lankan. Oh, you got gold teeth too. That's nice. It's <laughs> even. <laughs> um, so I don't know what you can kind of tell us. We we've heard like kind of little bits about what's been going on. You've kept yourself to yourself. Um, haven't kind of come out publicly uh, until recently about your situation. I don't know what you can speak about and what you can't. But can you give us a summary of what's happened or what? I can't. I can't really say much because you know there's things going on and there's legal processes still going on, which is if a ball ache, but they're going on. So, you know, obviously this out there, you know, um, it's contamination. And that's it. You know, I don't want to go on much about it, but it's you know, it is what it is. You know. Oh. How frustrating has it been for you for the last year and a half? <laughs> it's frustrating. I'm not getting any. Not year and a half. Sorry, I'm. I meant since obviously you haven't fought for a year and a half, so that's why. Yeah, I meant. yeah, yeah. It, it's been frustrating. I'm, I'm not getting any, any younger, and I'm and I'm missing time in the ring, and you know, becoming an activity. Last year has been a lot of inactivity for me. It's just been frustrating. I was getting ready for a big fight, you know. I felt like I could have been into this fight that time. There was a good time to to get him when I was gonna fight him. You know, I mean, obviously, he made a bit of a comeback since then, but it's a good time to be. It's frustrating. We invested a lot in the camp and lost a lot of money, a lot of time. I love opportunities, you know what I mean? And obviously, my name being dragged through the dirt and stuff while well, all the time I knew I was innocent because I wasn't doing anything, you know what I mean? But it is what it is, you know. You, you have to just move on in life, man. You, you like, your skin has to just, my skin's thick. You see how thick the skin is on my face? Look, it's thick. I'm like a crocodile now. Leather back. Yeah, a crocodile with gold teeth, yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I, I'm a, I'm a hood crocodile, not a jungle one. <laughs> Brixton um, crocodile. <laughs> you could be a hood crocodile, um, but I mean, look. Obviously, without knowing all the ins and outs, but it seems like mm. you had to kind of just get your head down, let your team yeah. sort of what was going on um, in the background. Um, like we hadn't heard from you. Obviously, me and you have spoken like off and on mm. over that kind of period, but publicly you hadn't kind of come out, but. Yeah, you've just had to kind of sit back and, and wait for things to happen. Yeah, it's stressful time. You know, I mean, you know, sometimes when you're stressed and things ain't going right and you're going through a hustle situation, it's better to just be quiet and believe in your, in your team and, your, and follow the process. I mean, sometimes when people are going through a dark time, they say stupid things because of anger and stuff like that. So, you know, I've learned to, um, you know, just, just be patient, trust the process, trust my team. And, and you know, all is new as innocent. So I just... 
you know, just, be, just shut the hell up and just write it out, you know. Uh, write it out. So from what we read the other day, um, you, you've been cleared by the Texas State Commission. What, what What's the situation in regards to the British border control in the UK? I, I can't even come into much on that, but I've been lasting with Texas, I think, four or five years or something. I've, I've been living outside the UK for four or five years. Yeah. And I've been lasting by them for four or five years. So even when I was fighting there, I was still lasting by them for a long time. For you know, you know, I've been lasting by them for a long time. So, you know, obviously that's who I had to, to sort of answer to. You know, that's who I hold my license with. So I say I'm not gonna comment about previous C and all of this stuff or whatever. You know, I just went to what I was lasting with and you know, and that's it. So you are gonna make your return. Mm -hmm. uh, I have to say, it's like really random you appearing uh, on a show in Ireland. You know what? Is it is the chance? Of, what what's that? I can't hear it, bro. Nothing ain't playing, bro. Nothing's not playing, bro. My alarm. That was my alarm to, to, for this call. Sorry, carry on. Ah, yeah, no, no. It's an opportunity to kill two birds with one stone. Obviously, you know, obviously, I got Irish family, and it was only ones where. I fought here before. I fought here before, but not in not in the West. You know what I mean. So I'm like, mm, you know, it's good. Obviously, you know, fight, catch up with some family. Which you know, it's okay. Family as well. You want to go and see people, and then you're like, mm, I'll go next year. I'll go next month. I'll go, and then it just goes on and on. It's a good time. I've been here a week, catch up with a few people, seen a few people and stuff. So it's kind of a, it's good. Kill a few birds with one stone, and then obviously, you know, I got other guys on the show as well. So it's kind of good to get them out as well, and then. If they need to come back, so it's a perfect opportunity, perfect time, and jump on. Obviously, come back in a decent fight as well. So, yeah, good, good. You know, obviously, I'm not a kid myself. I think, oh, I'm going to come back in some massive fight, whatever. You know what I mean? Obviously, the process, you got to follow it. you got to follow it correctly. Stadium. It was important for you to get yourself just out, get some rounds in the tank. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's been like, what, 15, 16 months. It's good to, to, to get out and get some rounds, and then obviously... You know, start looking at bigger fights and stuff. But I want to be busy. I want to be busy and be active. I ain't had a. You think in the last three years, I haven't, I haven't had a lot of fights. You know, I haven't been active. So I just want to be active. You know, I would like to fight again. Um, eight weeks from now. It, it, you know, I'd like to get out again. I don't care if it's a big fight or not. I'd like to get. Yeah, I'd like to go home for two weeks and then do a little bit of rest training at the same time and then get out again. You know, I'd like to get out three, four times if I can this year. That'd be great for me. I daily, I don't care who I fight or whatever level. So I'm just be busy. Um, over the last week, obviously, since your news came out, I mean, I've I've asked um, Eddie Hearn and Frank Warren about um, whether you know be open to obviously working with you. You've worked with those promoters in the past, matching more so. Mm -hmm. But um, mm -hmm. yeah, um, both promoters said that you know would be open to. <clears throat> seeing where you kind of fit into this whole heavyweight scene at the moment, which is uh, interesting. What What's your situation promotionally, then? I was, I'm still a free agent. I've been a free agent for a number of years, but I work with a few people of loyalty and working relationship, and i got no beef with them. And I'm sure, obviously, once I get back in the picture, we can resume the conversation. So I'm just focusing this weekend, get it done. And then let's see, you never know, new opportunities might open up. There's a lot of things happening in boxing. I hear there's a few big companies coming to boxing, lots of things happening. And there's only a few, there's only a few top heavyweights, and I'm still one of them. When you look, break it down, there's a few top guys. You know, Zank's probably going to retire now. Uh, there's AJ, Fury, Parker, um, while they saw in and around Erkovich, and then. Obviously, who else is there? Hmm. Ajit Cabells are hanging around there. Cesaro Manuel Char is still hanging around. Then there's no one else really, is there? There's no one else really, you know? No one well, else. Dylan, what, what do you think about this heavyweight scene which is being centred in Saudi Arabia over the last few months more so? It's great. They're giving us great fights. They're giving us fights that we've been fantasising about for years and the promoters won't work together, they won't risk their guys, and it's good. Obviously, these guys is coming and say, listen, we want to see this fight, and they've done what's necessary to get the fights made, so I'm um, full respect to the 
the, um, the Saudi Arabian guys and what they're doing is it's massive. It's changed the face of boxing and they're forcing these guys to fight. They're getting rid of the excuse and they're telling these promoters, listen, we don't care. We're fun and everything. You lot's got to work together. Whether you don't like each other or whatever. And then you can see sometimes the guys are a little bit awkward because they're like, uh, but, but they have to work together because it makes sense. It makes financial sense. And it makes, um, it's good for the sport and it's good for to put good eyes in Saudi Arabia and it shows that they're, they're good people, they're good loving people. Because a lot of people don't know about them. A lot of people sort of like scared or worry about going there and stuff. But they're, they're, they're just good. They're showing people that they're just normal, loving people and welcoming people and they know to put on show and know to treat people right, you know? So it's good. It's great. Is this something that you're looking to kind of get in on the act of this Saudi Arabia? Because obviously there is a huge focus on the heavyweight division uh, with what's going out there. So I'm assuming that that's something that would be of massive interest and appeal to you. Yeah, yeah. I love to. It's, I've always one of the best fights. The best fight seems to be happening. People is forcing people to fight and people is actually taking the fight. So I'd love, I'd love to, you know what I mean? I'd love to, you know. It'd be great for me. But, you know, obviously, like I said, obviously, I know I'm coming back off a long layoff and obviously... The phone will ring at some point. I just got to stay busy. My guys is doing work and putting work in the background. And, you know, I'm sure my name is already amongst the mix, you know, but obviously I don't take nothing for granted. So I'm just going to work hard and care do what I'm doing. I'm used to working hard and grafting and grinding anyway, but hopefully I get some sort of break at some point soon. But let's see. Um, Let's go back to the last weekend. Um, we were, you, I'm sure you mm -hmm. would have watched... Uh, uh, mm -hmm. and his emphatic knockout of Francis Ngannou. Much talked about this week. Um, uh, your your take on it. And Ngannou. I picked, Josh, I picked Joshua to win. Anyway, you know, Francis is a big, strong guy, but he hasn't got the experience. And no disrespect to him and his team. He's working with people and not boxing people. He needs to get proper boxing training because... He's big and he's strong, obviously. If he were under him, if he were in the you could tell from the few years moving around. And Francis and his team got ignorant and took too much away from that. And then that false confidence is what got him knocked out. And then also because they focus on the stuff he did against Fury. Fury isn't Joshua. Joshua Fury is a better boxer than Joshua, a better move. But Joshua carries power. And then it was crazy because I'm watching the fight and, and Joshua set him up. He's jabbing to his body and pulling, jabbing to his body and pulling to the right. And I'm thinking to myself, I said, that's a telltale sign. You're fighting a right-handed puncher. He's jabbing you and he's pulling to his right. It's only a matter of time before he comes back with the right hand and then Francis go and switch to southpaw while you're doing good off of that. I mean, you're not a southpaw. He doesn't... I don't know what they worked in, in, in camp or whatever, but he just... He needs to get a good... If he's serious about boxing, he needs, he's never going to be a boxer, change too much, but he needs to get boxing trainers to cover the basics of them so he can learn or to look up for the telltale signs. You know what I mean? Because I fought Joshua 100 years ago. Um, you know, I weren't as experienced and I weren't as good as I am now, but I was still able to avoid a lot of right hand and roll a lot of right hands. You know, when, when he was trying to set them up, you know, even though obviously I had problems with my shoulders, I couldn't really block the way I could have, I should have been blocking, but I was still able to roll a lot of them. I was still able to roll a lot of them. And Francis, go down, stand up in the same place, didn't move his head, didn't try and hold, didn't try and walk around the ring, nothing. He just went down, stood up, went down, stood up, Went down again in the same place. The three knockdowns was 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 in the same place. He went he went down in the same place three times. He didn't try and move or try and hold or try and do anything. He just he went down, stood up, and went down again. Stood up and went down again. Everyone know if you go down, you don't stand in the same place. You try and create as much space between you, the referee, and the opponent. You know, it's like that right hand that AJ hit him with the, the last right hand. He must have been he must have been asleep. Because AJ didn't disguise it. He just he just swung it over the top. And Francis just, I don't know, maybe Francis believed in in his chin and, and his ability way more than 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 he should he should have done. Yeah. But that's what happened. When you haven't got boxing people around you and boxing's hard, man. Boxing's not easy. You need to make sure that you have the right people around you and the, and also you 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 keep your ego in check. You know, everybody can get knocked out, but the way he was getting beat up in there. And he wasn't noticing the signs, the telltale signs. So, but that's what should happen. AJ is a real champion, an Olympic gold medalist, and he fought good people. Francis is not, and that's what that's what, that's what he should have been. That's what Fury should have dealt with him as well. To be honest, Fury should have knocked him out too. Uh, despite you thinking that AJ was going to win that fight, did you think that the fight could potentially be dangerous for AJ prior to the fight? 
Yeah, I did. I did because obviously, you know, AJ, if he gets hit high up on his head, like I kind of rules and other people do, then he just seems to just combobulate and go all over the place, you know what I mean? And obviously, it's still the question about his mindset and other things and drive and whatever. But obviously, everyone's like, oh, he's back, he's back because he beat up Wallin and, and, and stuff. I was like, well, he's already beaten Wallin twice and the amateurs knocked him out. So <laughs> that I didn't take much from that fight, you understand? He he, he was more aggressive, but Wallin was also retreating in the fight and sort of like pushed the foot in around. But I didn't take much from the fight, but obviously I saw that he was aggressive in the fight. So I was like, okay, he started showing the aggression back. So I was thinking, well, we should do it front. It's pretty easy, to be honest. I, that was my whole mindset and the whole thing. I just thought that his experience, the little of his fought, uh, the guys he's beaten, and the fact that he's come back from defeat, you know, winning against Ruiz, beat him, winning against Usyk twice, and then the riders thought that the experience, the boxing experience, would have been too much for Francis. And it was. I know what you're saying, because a lot of people made this kind of comment and judgment after the fight that this is what was, is meant to happen, but... I suppose in Joshua's head, when, prior to the fight, even though that is what is deemed as meant to have happened, um, there was a potential, um, like you said, you admitted there that you thought that there could be a problem because we didn't really know a mm -hmm. lot in Ghana. We were just going off a, an mm -hmm. unfair fight from Puri. Well, I, I knew a lot about in Ghana because I watched boxing and MMA. Yeah. You understand? I, I stay in the martial arts world as well as in the boxing world. Like, you did I left, off, I, it? I, no, I did um, kickboxing. Uh, you did karate, and, uh, you know? <laughs> You're such a deuce. Did you do karate? I'm in a karate union chapati. <laughs> <laughs> go on, no, go on. no, 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 no. But, but no, it just, I love combat sports anyway, so I try and watch it and see it. And then I just know uh, Francis is strong. He's not the most technical guy. He's a big, strong guy. He's got lots of heart and stuff, but... From a boxing standpoint, I just knew that AJ would have too much of him because AJ is taller than him, better job than him, faster than him, and just as big as him. Francis just looked bigger because he's a bit short and a bit stockier. People say, oh, Francis is a monster. It wasn't that much size difference in there. It wasn't that much. AJ is just a big guy. AJ was just as big and as ripped as he was. If we look at the size and, oh, like muscles, muscles don't make you strong. <laughs> you know, speed and, and explosive power, and AJ has been working that for... 15, 20 years, however long he's working. But he's been working on the explosive movement, the explosive boxing technical ability. And also that move that move that he used him was one of Ben Davidson's special. So that sort of jab to the body, jab to the body, pull out, jab to the body, and then come back with the right hand. Yeah. I think he has made some comments now. I think he did an Instagram live yesterday and <laughs> has indicated that he's not going to kind of come away completely from boxing, but... I mean, Good. you could still put him in some interesting fights in Ghana, couldn't you? I mean, like you could put. I him... tried to. I, I tried to fight on Ghana three years ago. You remember when I did the interview in the press conference with him three yeah. years ago? Now I wanted to fight in boxing and MMA. You know, he's good for boxing. He, he's a big guy. He's around. He's fun. You know, it's fun. He's good for boxing. He's confident. He looks apart. He looks scary. And and boxing fans like that. they like that. Just, just the edge in it, like two big men fighting. They love it, you know. Obviously, he looks the part. He looks, you know, and he's strong. He's carry power as well. So yeah, you know, he knocked Fury down. I did not Fury down, so I can't really say shit. So there you go. What, what do you? But, think, uh, but I tell you what, I'll, I'll knock out Francis and Garner though for sure. How are you gonna call out a man that's just been beaten? I ain't calling him up, bro. I'm just saying I would. I never said to you, I, 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 I never called him. I'm just saying I would. That's all. I gave him credit. I said he knocked Fury down, and I did. I just gave him credit. But I'm just saying, I know what I believe, and I know what I can do. And, and I see the, the telltale signs are there. Do you know what? I remember when um, when Hay fought Bellew, and I interviewed you straight after, and you called that Hay, and Hay just be Yeah, because we was having a beef then. That's why we was having a little bit of a beef then. What's up, little bit of a beef thing? That's like kick a man when he's down. I'm doing a mad interview. You know when interviews like when COVID time here, yeah, I got under shirt and no, and no, just the boxes, boxes underneath. I was just like, oh, damn. I should stand up and go. To, I should stand up and go to the toilet. No, nah. those ones. <laughs> when the guy did it, it's a family show. Um, Dylan, what do you make of kind of where obviously someone you was. 
wanted to fight for so many years. That fight never happened. You and Deontay Wilder. But where do you see where Wilder is now after that loss to Parker? I have no idea, man. I don't think well. I don't think well himself know where he is. I think he left his soul and his spirit in the jungle of um. Where did he go? You talking about Costa Rica? Yeah, he left his soul and his his. To this day, he's still in Costa Rica. To this day, still there. But he's still left it. he's still competing some big fights there. I'd still watch. Yeah, him of, co- of course. Him. Yeah. Of course, he bring, he brings an equalizer to fights. You know what I mean? Obviously, he, he you know he, and he brings he's charismatic as well. You know, obviously he's very you know he's very loud, very colorful, very bright, and he and he still can knock a lot of guys out because the end of world of fights off a fair. Until well, he he fights at fair. He doesn't fight with confidence. He fights, and and guys that fair fights is dangerous because they hit you with that that crazy fair fight and shit. It's like you know, when he throws his stuff, it's it's at fair. It's not out of out of spite. It's out of fair. It's like shit. I'm gonna try and kill you before you kill me. And he can tell from the way he talk. I know he's it's it's sort of fair. It's like I want to kill someone. I want to destroy. You know what I mean? That that's fair talk. You know what I mean? He fights at fair. So it's dangerous. <laughs> The, the next instalment of this uh, heavyweight drama will, will take place on May the 18th with the fight with Fury and uh, Alexander Usyk. Who, who are you backing in that, Dylan? Ah, man, that's a... It's a tough fight, man. You know, it's a, obviously... It's a tough fight, man. It's a tough fight because... One one hand you say Fury, and the other hand you say Usyk because he's, Usyk's got that movement, he's got punch power, and Usyk's tough. He's shown the fights that he's tough. He can take punches. He, you know, he can take punches. He, he's actually shown that he's he's tougher than Tyson Fury. Um, he's more resistant than Tyson Fury because Tyson Fury get dropped with lesser shots than what Usyk's taking in his fight. So, but Tyson's got the size and the the reach. And he's got a good speed and good boxing ability too, but then he's going against someone that's got just as much speed, not as much reach as him, and as much size as him, but got just as much speed, and he's very durable as well. You know, Usyk can take a punch, so you know, um, if it, and Usyk's also a sharp, a sharp um boxer. Don't Fury. The Fury's got size and awkwardness and a lot of confidence. I don't know, man. I don't know. It's it's. I, I don't know. It's 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 not an easy one for both of them, man. I have no idea. I can't say, oh, he's gonna win, he's gonna lose. I, I can't say that. I don't know. It's hard. It's a hard one. Man. And it's cl- the closer the fight gets, the harder it becomes to pick a winner. What? Oh, sorry. So your prediction is one of them will win, yeah? Of course one of them's will win, bro. Well both they can't both actually they could both win, it could be a draw. It could both score a knockout. Um, it could both score a knockout. After after the Ngannou yeah. knockout, Dillian, Eddie Hearn stated um, that he believes now Anthony Joshua is probably based on form more so, but he's the best heavyweight on the planet now, which has caused no, a lot of split opinion because obviously you have not a new sit there. No disrespect, but obviously Eddie's Joshua's man. He's always been Joshua's man, so he was always going to say that. That's That's nothing... That's not like does a be a shit in the woods, you know what I mean? Does Coogan eat curry? You know what I mean? It's just huh? like it's huh? bro, what do you mean? Eh? Huh? Just you eat you eat curry, right? You eat curry, didn't you? Yeah, we eat curry oh. goat, curry chicken, but I'm just saying, you because of your, your background, you definitely eat curry. I'm saying. Okay. No, you're stating a it's fact. Just... You're not being like Yeah, that's right? it. I'm stating facts. That's yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, so, so, so what was the problem? What was the problem? What, you make it like you're an English guy that eats um, roast beef and, and, and you eat curry? You send chips? You, you eat roast beef but with curry sauce on it. I know what you do. You try to get the best of both for us. Yeah, no, I'll give you consent for all this. It's fine. It's fine. It's good. I don't need consent anyway. I would, I would have said it even if you don't give me consent anyway. I don't care. I would have still said some whatever I feel like saying anyway. But yeah, but of course, Ed, Eddie's just a man and he promotes him to the fullest. And he does a good job promoting him. So, but but I don't think that statement is just because 
Usyk's beaten him twice in a row. Usyk, obviously, it's between Tyson Fury and Usyk at the minute. And then the winner of that fight would then be the best heavyweight around. And then if AJ fight that guy and beat that guy, then he becomes the best heavyweight around. But he's not at the minute. And that's, that's just me being honest. If AJ and Fury fought today, who do you favour today, right now, in that fight? I don't know. I have to see if Fury... I don't know, man. I don't know. Obviously, with Fury's last performance with Ngannou, it's hard to judge from. What do you take from the fight? Apart from Fury didn't didn't train properly. He underestimated Usyk. AJ and that had t- 10 rounds to study against. To study. You know what I mean? At the time, Ngannou was an unknown quantity and he was a big guy and obviously... Fury probably had in his head, okay, he's strong, I need to be careful, you're a bit more cagey, blah, 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 this and the other. I don't know. This is hypothetically speaking. So I don't know. We have to see. We have to, okay, you know, what do we, I don't take nothing from both of the fights. Just to knock out and go on in, in, in two rounds or whatever it is, Fury went 10 rounds. And what do you take from the fight? Fury is not a big puncher. He's a, he's a, he's a boxer and, and a skill. He's, a, he's a, you know, he's an awkward entity. I mean, AJ is, is a power puncher. So, Fury got the decision. He he, he boxed him and got the decision. AJ knocked him out. That's what AJ's supposed to do. That's what Fury's supposed to do. <laughs> you know, Fury's supposed to box him and pick up points. And obviously, it was closer than what people expected. And AJ's supposed to knock him, knock him out. If AJ went the distance with him, people would have been saying, blah, blah, blah. If Fury's knocked him out, then people would have said, blah, blah, blah. But realistically, they've done the right thing. They're both been to the been to knock him out. And Fury's been to beat him on points. So, what do you, you know? Fury's been not people forget Nevin is it Nevin Package knocked Fury down and um some other guy um Steve not Steve Connor because Steve Connor's real champion some other um chomp knocked Fury down like um you know what's his name Nevin Package and another guy knocked him down early in his career so so why is everyone surprised that someone as big as Sean Francis and Gordon knocks it knocks him down it's no surprise there yeah um yeah Fury had been even prior to the Wild fight had been like you mentioned Steve Cunningham there as well yeah. Had been knocked down previously. Yeah, I suppose. It's yeah, I, 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 and then heavy handed, he goes down, but he gets back up and then he does his thing. Mm. So, why was everyone like, oh, Francis has knocked him down? Oh my God. Francis is the big power puncher. <laughs> he probably hits harder than most of the heavyweights around. I think it's because people labeled that fight as a complete mismatch before that fight. Um, that it was, and it was a shock factor yeah, but... in two rounds into the fight or whenever it was. So, but, but heavyweight boxing, everyone can go down. It's heavyweight boxing. Everyone can go down. I mean, you, you're talking someone that has got at that point he had nothing to lose. When the Joshua fight came around, he got a bit massive celebrity status. People talking about him being a serious contender and blah blah blah. And he, he made it get to his head. In the fury fight, he was hungry as hell. Not defending any of them. Obviously, they both done good against him. One knocked. They both beat him. Anyway. One beat my points. One knocked him out. So, you know, man, hell. Who, who's going to be your trainer moving forward? Buddy McGirt, bro. I still train. Yeah. But me and Buddy, well, we carried on training. Buddy, Buddy, Buddy didn't leave my side once. You know, what I mean, he believed, he believed in me, and he stuck by me, and um, we kept in touch, and we 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 trained, we trained. You know, he's here. He's in next door. Is he here? Yeah, he's next door. Buddy's my guy. Me and, me and Buddy click. You know, what I mean, obviously. You know, it was important. You know, obviously, he supported me and he was by my side the whole time. He, he always believed that I was innocent. And obviously, you know, it's a big thing. You know, obviously, he's been around fighters and he knows people and he's a very smart, intelligent man. You know what I mean? So, you know, it's important. So, plan for you. It's for the immediate plan. Get yourself out, obviously, this week, Sunday, night you're fighting mm-hmm. for the hammer. And then as many times as you can get out? Or... You think, you think I should come out to hammer time Saturday? And that's how that goes. Wait, let me try and find this song. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Let me try and find it. I don't know. I, I was going to sing it, but I don't know. If you sing put it. music on, on, get your top off and put the shorts on and do the, like, pretend you're in the zone. The, I'm, I'm not in the zone, though. So why would I? Why would I no, in, in the, the zone. zone. The zone. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm not in the zone, though. Hey, let me see. Let me the song. Wait, wait, wait. Can you hear this? Right, because you put your fucking earphone in. How were you meant to hear that? Bro, bro, can't you hear it through the fucking headphone? No. You can't hear it this. Hold on. Wait, wait, wait. All right. Wait. Can you hear it? Can you hear it? No. Sing it. No. 
Sing it. Oh. Oh. Can't hear it. I can't <laughs> hear it. I can. I can hear myself. I hear something. I think it was still connected to your iPod. Yeah, you hear something, man. Can you hear me oh, now? Shit. Oh, shit. It connected to my other phone. That's oh, what damn. <laughs> it connected to this song, damn. It connected to the other phone that was really music. I was like, damn. Do you want me to talk you through how to work a phone layer? Please. I'm, uh, you know, please, bro. Please. I'll help you. Bro. You bro, you was playing in the rice fields in your, when you was a kid, but you never used no phone, bro. You was playing in the rice fields. What rice in the fields? Tumic. I was born in the in, in, what rice fields. No, you wasn't, bro. You, bro, you wasn't, bro. Why do you keep lying, bro? Just just admit your heritage, bro. Admit you keep lying, bro. You wasn't born in Essex, bro. You came in, you came thinking you was a kid, bro. You was born in Sri Lanka, bro. I wasn't born in Sri Lanka. If I was born, born in Sri Lanka, bro. I was born in Sri Lanka. You was born in Sri Lanka, bro. You're lying. You're always lying, bro. It doesn't make no sense, bro. I was born in Jamaica. Yeah, we know that. I born in Jamaica, man. See? Yeah. In August, yeah, I remember. Um, no, not August. April. April. <laughs> um, but life... Some some guy was giving me shit about the August thing just yesterday. He was like, oh, bro, when are you going to fight in August? I was like, bro, I felt like smacking him. I said, bro... I felt like smacking some random guy in the reception. He's like, oh, are you fighting in August? And I was, I was like, oh, yeah, well done, mate. It's a very good joke. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so, oh. I said, Coogan's an idiot. <laughs> All these years later, that shit's still out in me. Oh, do I say proper no? August. August. Yeah, August. 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 That's I just it. said it. Yeah, August. Yeah, August. Uh, Augustine. But in general, you are... In a much better place now. You're good. You're happy. You just want to fight and carry on your career. Yeah, that's it. I, you know, I I don't dwell in the past, man. Things happen, and you know, only we have a good future by looking forward. You don't look back. You just get on, man. You have to be positive in life, and I can be angry and be pissed about this and pissed about that and stressed about this and stressed about that. But I'm tunnel vision. I just look forward. My whole life has been like that. I just look forward. If I, if I look back in life, then boy, yeah, uh, sure. There's a lot of baggage back there, man. So I just keep, I just keep looking forward, keep looking forward, keep pushing forward. You know, obviously, I'm back a chance to just carry my career and obviously chase my dreams and stuff. Um, so yeah, what I look back. You still want that Joshua fight? Yeah, one hundred percent, one hundred percent, one hundred percent. And he, he said he'll fight. He said he, he still want. He said he'll fight, and he still wants to fight me. So that's good. That's good. He's saying all the right things. So. You know, at the end of the day, obviously, he's where he is now. Obviously, I need to get back in the swing of things and start busting some fools up and then try and bust up that fool. Do you need any help with sparring? Bro, I'm the, you know, I'm not, I'm just gonna ignore that. Man. I'm never gonna, I'm not gonna ignore that. I'm never, gonna, you know, I'm not, I'm not, even, I'm not even gonna waste my time. You don't need coming, any help yeah, with sparring. You're so next cool. question, please. Next what? question, please, because even Eddie will beat you up, bro. Eddie will beat you up, no, and me. it's terrible. Not me. Ah, oh. oh, okay. Who? I know. I know. Um, team Sri Lanka, the national team. Yeah, they've got some heavyweights <laughs> there. That are bro, really love to spar you, bro. Not bro, me. I, 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 sp spar and finish. Spar I thought you were saying you spar and finish. I'm. I'm going to send them <laughs> around your house tonight, anyway. I, I thought it was you. I didn't say even Barry Ern can beat you, and the Barry is about a thousand years old now. <laughs> Yeah, you've lost some weight. You're looking good. You're looking good. You lost a bunch of weight. That I'll give you credit for. You lost a bunch I of weight over the years. Don't get healthy. Um, all right. Well, listen. Appreciate your time, Dillian. I'll let you get back to training. Um, do me a favor, please. What? Dye your beard, bro. You're looking. Bro, I beg you, dye your beard, please. Why? Because you're looking. You're looking like like the like the Colonel from KFC advert. You know, the way, <laughs> like a Sri Lankan version. No, no. Oh, what's that guy came? What's that guy came from Liga of Chardonnay? No, you know the guy from Liga of Chardonnay, gentleman, the one that drives the ship, the Indian guy. All right. What's his name? I don't know. I can't remember. But people will know him. Anyway. People, people, comment in the comment. What's the guy's name from Liga of Chardonnay, gentleman? All right. I like my beard. I'm 41. I don't care. Like, how do you? Diet, bro. 
How old are you? Right, bro. 35. Look at looking fresh. Look at that. Damn. You're not son. 35. Stop with this shit. Bruv. I'm 35, bro. Look at that. Damn, son. 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 Look. Look like Rick. Damn, son. <laughs> Wait there, I'm just gonna alert people to know that um Num Num's back. Damn Wait. son. Damn son, look really? Brady's looking slick. Damn son. Really? Look who's back. Back again. Back again. Damn, look Brady Num Num's looking slick. Damn. Damn. Out later on IFL TV. Dillian, can you just give us a little smile with the teeth? <laughs> <laughs> oh man <laughs> but have you got anything else you'd like to say before we finish no I was to say thanks everyone who um, supported me and who believed in me and, and that's it you know obviously just, just thanks thank you I uh, appreciate your support obviously because there's been a lot of people that have been supportive some people are dicks that just like to jump and others of you don't just jump on people and start putting people down. Just give people a chance, you know. Give people a chance sometimes. It's not always because something is reported. You actually shouldn't jump on it and start saying, ah, oh, give things a chance. Let things work out and play out, you know. The truth always come to light most of the time. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, Dillian White, thank you very much for talking to me and IFL TV. Um, wish you the best of luck on this Sunday, St. Patrick's Day, um, over in Ireland. Ah, I ain't got no shots on now. I'm about to stand up. What are you doing? I was about to stand up and get something, but I ain't got no shots on. I just remembered. Well, you're just sitting there swinging. No, bro, I got I, I got underpants on, bro. I just ain't got no shots on, bro. Oh, you know that meme? Is that you? You know the meme I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you're an idiot. That's magic. <laughs> 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 all right thank you very much best of luck on Sunday and um, yeah get the job done thank you mate I'll see you on the other side see you on the other side thank you very much I might ignore the AFL guys at Sunday just run off <laughs> you better not I just run off and say I'm sorry mate um, it's Coogan here no I don't interview I only need to interview Coogan sorry mate sorry don't you dare do that. Why? I'll come to Ireland myself. You're in, you're in Dubai, so is that going to happen? Is that going to happen? What are you going to do what? Do 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 your Sri Lankan Krav Maga? <laughs> you're silly. <laughs> silly and white. Thank you're you very silly. much. Ah, bro, thank respect. you very much. God bless. Cheers, bro. Thanks. Peace. Wall Street Memes Casino. I'm fine. And sportsbook.